Everything you need to know about Altspace VR. Altspace VR is the market leader in live mixed reality experiences. Altspace VR makes creating virtual events simple for artists, creators, brands, and businesses. This social app allows people worldwide to connect and collaborate in real time with a true sense of presence. People can feel connected even thousands of miles apart thanks to expressive avatars, engaging eye contact, spatial sound, and immersive virtual environments. Altspace VR exists at the crossroads of experience, content, and community. It is the most popular venue for live concerts, conferences, comedy shows, festivals, tech talks, team meetings, remote collaboration, and other events. So what else is there to know about this platform? Well, let's dive into the video to know, and if you are a gaming enthusiast and love these platforms or headsets, subscribe to MetaHub now or else you will miss out. Here we begin. Its Features Menu In Altspace, you can access your menu at any time. Simply look to the bottom right of your screen to find it. The menu is always accessible because it will follow you around. Select the Altspace logo in the middle of the menu to access the main menu. It has the option Mute that you can use to silence yourself. You can also unmute at any time by pressing the same button. You can use this to change volume. Emojis are also there. Click this button to access an emoji menu. You can choose an emoji that will appear next to your avatar's head before floating up and away. For example, you can clap using the clapping hands. This is an excellent way to communicate with other users while on mute. Bubble. Use the bubble button to create a purple around your avatar to prevent other users from entering your space. Selfie. Press this button to take a virtual selfie of yourself and any other avatars nearby. Camera. Use this button to record your view in alt space anytime. Your avatar will not be visible. However, other avatars might appear in your image. Home. Use this button to return to your home space anytime. When you log into Altspace, you appear in your home space. Main Menu By clicking the Alt Piece logo in the center, you can navigate to the main menu from the basic menu. There are several tabs that you need to be aware of. People Here, you can search for friends, view incoming friend requests, and see who is in the room. It also includes a list of users you have blocked. Settings allows you to customize your experience. Once you've selected this tab, you'll see a list of subcategories on the left. General Gives you access to features such as the Early Access Program and World's Beta. Turning these on allows you to visit user-created worlds by adding a new tab called Worlds. Personal Space Bubble This is the same as the option on your radial menu. You can see the name tag when you hover your cursor over a user's name tag. We recommend that you enable this so you can use the name tag feature. Re-enter space. This allows you to exit and re-enter whatever event or world you are currently in. This can be very helpful for initial troubleshooting when entering a space. Input. You can fly in some worlds and events. Throw shadow casts a small circular shadow on all interactive elements. Rumble and pulse haptics vibrate your controllers based on your headset and controller capabilities. If you use cursor on primary action, you can change which hand your cursor is on. If you use left-right cursor always on, each of your hands can be useful. Teleport aiming style can be switched between an arc, which is better for teleporting to higher up places, and a straight line, which is better for teleporting long distances. Display UI scale will double the size of all pop-up menus. The quality of visuals and the world render scale is determined. Higher values will look better, but some headsets may experience frame rate issues at these levels. Volume sliders are also available for audio. The audio input selection screen is where you configure your input source. When you enter a new world or event, mute mic by default causes your microphone to automatically mute. When Altspace VR needs to be more focused, mute. When Altspace VR is idle, mute your microphone. Name tag. Each avatar has a name tag that appears when you hover your cursor over them. The display name and username are displayed on name tags. Some users will also have an admin badge displayed on their name tag. These avatars will be able to moderate chat rooms and answer questions. Mute. A temporary mute option, and you can unmute the user at any time with the same button. 
If this user's mute icon is already red, that means they have muted themselves. Block. You can remove a user from your experience by using the block feature. You will no longer be able to see or hear that user, and they will no longer be able to see or hear you. Unblocking a user is as simple as opening your friends panel, selecting the block tab, and then unblocking the user. Friending. The friend button sends a friend request to that user. After friending another user, you can message them across spaces, see when that user is online, and easily join their room. That user's name tag will also have a blue border to help you identify them as friends. You'll also notice a counter at the bottom of their name tag that indicates how long you've been friends with that user. How to use Altspace VR Download Altspace VR If there is a tethered headset, please ensure that your computer meets the minimum Altspace VR specifications. Download the app from VR from the Oculus Store for Oculus headsets, the Steam Store for HTC headsets, or the Windows Store. If you don't have a headset, you can download Altspace for desktop mode. To create your account, make sure you have Altspace VR installed on your device. Then launch the application. Choose to sign up and fill out the registration form, then click Create. Some things to consider. Display name is the name other users will see above your avatar. Username will appear in the menu's Friends tab for people who have added you as a friend. Both your username and display name will appear on your avatar's name tag. Create Avatar You can change the appearance of your avatar. This means you can create and express your identity in Altspace VR however you want. You'll be able to customize your avatar's clothing and clothing color, body shape and size, facial features, skin tone, hairstyle and color, and other features. Select Me from your main menu to customize your avatar. On the left, there will be several main categories, including body, head, face, and clothing. You can view all options with each main section by opening it. Then, select any option to see it in the avatar preview. When you're finished, click Save. How to move around Altspace VR If you're used to playing online games, you're probably a pro at moving your avatar around with the WASD keys. Your right mouse button has a toggle operation. It defaults to look mode, which involves rotating your head 180 degrees. You're in look mode if your mouse cursor is a hollow ring rather than a filled in circle. To move forward, press the W key or up arrow key. Your body will move where your head is pointed. When you click the right mouse button, the cursor changes to a solid circle. Moving your mouse will stop moving your head around in this mode, allowing you to click things like the menu. Even in menu mode, you can move around with the WASD or arrow keys. When it says strafe left or right, it means sidestep left or right. If you need to travel a long distance, use the F key to teleport. If you point to a valid location, it will show a blue path with an arrow. If it shows red, it means you can't teleport there. Let us know your views in the comments below, and if you want some VR headset reviews, wait no more and watch our videos. Subscribe to MetaHub now!